The German offensive through the Ardennes has caused quite the stir. A few squadrons from the 8th Air Force are to be moved to the continent and loaned to the 9th Air Force. My squadron is one of these, the 487th Fighter Squadron, part of the 352nd Fighter Group. On the morning of Christmas Eve, I woke up to the sound of four engine bombers above. I made my way to the planning room where I saw my name, Justin Hall, written on the chalkboard. My first sortie of the day is to go out and attack an enemy vehicle column at 0900 hours. I hopped into the cockpit of my Mustang, ready to help fix that bulge in our front lines. Hello everybody, Wolfpack345 here and welcome to a brand new career series and in this one we're going to be flying in Isle 2 Battle of Bodenplata and as you can see we are flying in P-51D Mustangs. I'm number two here so I'm going to go ahead and start throttling up so I don't fall too far behind with my rambling. Let's go ahead and uh, bring her up to 100% and take off in the P-51 Mustang is just a breeze. Alright, number one is already airborne. Let's go ahead and there we go. Gear up. And let's go ahead and flip off our lights. There we go. Perfect. And we are airborne. Let's go ahead and adjust our pitch a little bit. So I'll go ahead and discuss the current situation here as it stands. It's currently December 23rd, 1944, so we are in the middle of the Battle of the Bulge. Uh, the German offensive is pushing onward, and we are here to kind of force them back a little bit. I am flying as part of the 352nd Fighter Group, also known as the Blue Nosed Bastards. Uh, he doesn't have a blue nose, but I do. As a matter of fact, I did choose the appropriate skin for this. Unfortunately, I can't assign it to all of my uh, comrades here. It would be pretty cool if I did, but unfortunately not. And the mission for today is we're going off and uh, bombing a German supply column. Let's go ahead and show the map here. So we're heading over here, and as you can see, the column is probably on that main road right there, heading towards the front lines to resupply the German troops fighting up there and we can't have that no we can't so we have two 500 pound bombs strapped underneath our wings we also have quite a few we have extra 50 caliber machine gun ammo so we can do quite a few strafing runs as well so we're pretty well armed for the situation at hand and we are in a flight of four so overall, I'm pretty excited about this new series. It was kind of unexpected. I was expecting uh, Battle of Bolden Plata to come out a little later than it actually did, but the, the developers just dropped it on us, which is actually awesome. It's really great. So I've been having a blast with it, and I hope you guys will join me. Uh, but other than that, I think that'll be all for our, my little pre-action ramble here. And we'll go ahead and fly over to the front lines and get ourselves into some trouble. So we are pretty close to the target area, as we can see from our map. We are actually, oh, pause the game there. We are actually extremely close, so I suspect our bombing run will commence any second now. I'm gonna set my bombs, I'm gonna go ahead and drop all of them in one big go, and hopefully my bombs land on target, or actually it'll just be a big waste. But I'd rather drop all of them at once than have uh, one 500 pound bomb hanging on the wing. All right, we're going down, I'm gonna aim for that Oh, there's no trucks there. All right, looks like I'm going this way. Bombs away. Hopefully, let's get the hell out of Dodge. There we go. Looks pretty good. And I think those were mine there. I do have a five second delay on my bombs. We also have the extra 50 caliber machine gun ammunition, so I suspect we'll go in and begin our strafing runs here. I can also, you know, ease up on the throttle and everything a little bit. Seems there's no anti-aircraft defenses around this area, so it's just going to be like shooting fish in a barrel. Let's 
go ahead and swing around and prepare for our strafing attacks with our 650 caliber machine guns. I have my conversion set out kind of far since we are doing a ground attack mission. And hopefully I don't hit one of those trees. Me and trees have a, uh, a pretty rough relationship in this game. Looks like we're going for this half track. Ooh, looks like my friends are also shooting. Pull up! Ooh, there we go. How about that? Perfect. I do need to be careful about blacking out. Making insane maneuvers will uh, cause my pilot to lose consciousness and uh, crash into the ground. So, I do need to be a little easy on the stick and uh, not <laughs> in this career before it gets started. I guess this is a good time to talk about the rules for those of you who have never watched one of my series before. Uh, this will be a dead is dead playthrough so whenever i die in the game that's the end of the series and it looks like i made a pass on an area where there are no trucks but anyway if i die in game that is the end of the series i'm playing with a pretty i think it's fairly realistic uh, difficulty settings the only thing that i really have is my icon on the map to help and also i have autopilot checks so that does help as well Okay, let's begin our next run. Hopefully, there we go. There are, looks like, trucks. That's probably a better targets for our machine guns. Okay. There we go. Blew him up. We go right on past him. Adios, it'd probably be best to go right down this highway here, 50 cows a blazing. So I'm going to go ahead and do that next here. You can hear that whistle, the gun ports. All right, let's go ahead and swing around and begin our strafing run. And we'll throttle down. We'll go nice and slow for this one. I'm also getting reports of fighters in the area, so that is a little concerning. I do need to be cautious of that. Let's go ahead and pull out of that. Looks like there's another Mustang. I don't think I actually did too much damage on that last strafing run. Whoa, hello. Was that anti-aircraft fire? I don't think it was. I think that was another Mustang strafing the ground and the bullets bouncing and uh, getting very close to me. Yep, that's definitely what it is. Looks like I destroyed a truck in that last pass, so it was not completely for nothing. And there goes another Mustang. We are making pretty good work of this convoy. All right, let's swing back around. Let's get another one. I do want to Let's hit this one and create a bit of a traffic jam here. Pretty good hits there. I think that will be enough to disable that truck. Yeah, I think it was. Perfect. That's all we need to do is just disable them. No need for pretty satisfying explosions. Save ammo that way. <laughs> and we'll just keep rinsing and repeating here. I don't know if I'll actually end up showing all of this because it can get a little repetitive. I also want to save some of my ammo just in case we encounter German fighters. I was a little close to the trees there. I wonder if I disabled that half track. Constantly checking my six o'clock. I do not want to get bounced by a Dora or a K4 or any German aircraft for that matter. Any of them, it sounds terrible. Especially a 262. That does not sound fun. Look, that truck is hauling ass. It's like, get me out of here. I think I got one. Man, these trucks are really just like, all right, I've had enough of this whole convoy business. Look at that guy. 
He's acting like the driver's on my local highway. My goodness. Oh, we can't have that. Stay in your lane, sir. Let's go ahead and f stop that nonsense. <laughs> oh, I thought he almost hit a tree there. Did I get him? I was kind of guessing they're shooting through the tree. I don't think so, unfortunately. Let's fly nice and low. Let's see. Alright, mission and critical objective completed. So, looks like we're probably going to go ahead and return to base. And that's good because I do not want to expend all of my ammo. So, we'll go ahead and group up here. Okay, so the objective has been completed. We made... I'll go in for one more pass. We made pretty good work of this German convoy. They're definitely going to be delayed, and a lot of their supplies lies in ruins. This guy's booking it. Can't have that. I'll throw some da rounds down at him, scare him a little bit. But we have completed our objective, and it looks like my friends are regrouping to go ahead and head home. So I will follow suit. I do not want to be separated from them and uh, left out here alone. That's uh, dangerous. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and group up with my flight and we will head on home. Our home airfield is in sight right there at about 11 o'clock. It's that big one right there. So we're probably going to go ahead and break off and begin our landing because I'm a fighter pilot and I'm a little impatient. So. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and come in for our landing. We'll do one loop around the airfield and uh, come in, hopefully, for a very successful landing. And I do not crash my brand new P-51D Mustang. That would be very unfortunate. So let's go ahead and start easing up on the throttle. No need to be using as much throttle as we are doing. Our journey back home was fairly uneventful. Uh, there was some radio chatter about allied fighters engaging some German fighters, but I was not able to see any of it and we did not break off to uh, help them out or anything. So it looks like the ground recognizes we're here and we are clear for landing. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on my navigation lights and we're really want to start slowing down a little bit. We're going pretty hot, 300 miles per hour right now, just over. So Let's go ahead and definitely start slowing down, killing off some of that airspeed. And we'll deploy gear right as I turn on the final. Gear down. Flaps down. Let's go ahead and really kill off airspeed. Coming in nicely. <laughs> that guy's requesting a landing clearance. Make sure the runway's clear, right? Yeah, it sure is. Alright, we got a bounce. That was a little dirty. Another bounce. But that's okay. Manageable. Three, four, four bounces, I think. Three or four. Uh, I can definitely do better if I wasn't just impatient. <laughs> Let's go ahead and start hitting the brakes a little bit so we don't... There we go. Run off the runway. And... Let's go ahead and get off the runway so... My friends don't run right into me and this mission is a complete disaster and I get court-martialed. Alright, well, overall, let's go ahead and turn off our engine. The ground crew can figure out what to do with this aircraft now. So overall, a fairly successful mission. Let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and finish the mission here and see how everyone did. What is going on up there? Oh, anyway, let's go ahead and finish mission. That was interesting. It looks like they almost hit each other and I was kind of concerned. <laughs> All right, let's see. Looks like I got five vehicles destroyed, five transport vehicles. The whole mission lasted a quite quick 25 minutes. Let's see how everyone else did. So this is probably a shorter episode than normal. Most of my episodes will probably be a little longer than this, but that's okay. A good way to introduce the situation and the career, I think, with a nice, easy ground attack mission. Actually, our next mission is indeed a, we're attacking an armor 
column. So that should be fun. I'm sure we are taking rockets. Nope, we're just taking the M64 bombs once again. So not as exciting as rockets, but it will have to do. It looks like on this mission, we destroyed a total of eight transport vehicles. I destroyed five and everyone else in here destroyed one. And someone destroyed a heavy weapon, which is interesting. I did not see that happen, but overall quite fun. So that will do it for this here episode. Thank you guys for watching as always. This is Wolfpack345 signing off and I'll see you guys on the next episode.